truth. Trouble maker in the booth. There's a hole in my ceiling, cause my swagger through the roof. You got to be careful. You got to have a J-O-B in the 80s. You got to have some money. You got to have some money. You can't get no pussy. Listen to the radio. That's what it's about. Listen to Madonna. I'm a material girl in a material world. You ain't got no money. You can't have no pussy. <laughs> Basically what it is. There's a song out now called Got to Have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. And the lyrics go, ain't nothing going on but the rent. Like if you went up and said, hey, babe, what's going on? The rent, motherfucker. Do you have a job? Well, I, 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 get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> got to have some money. It says, no romance without finance. And women love them songs. They be going, got to have a day. <laughs> Janet Jackson got a hit record, What Have You Done For Me Lately? That's what they be thinking. What have you done for me lately? The record start off like that. I know he used to do shit for you, but what has he done for you lately? Baby, I love you. What have you done for me lately? You the only thing on my mind. What have you done for me lately? We make good love. What have you done for me lately? Got to have some money to get some pussy in the 80s. It's fucked up. That's why I say, hey, I'm a target. I, if I ever get married, I have to go off to the woods of Africa and find me some crazy, naked zebra bitch that knows nothing about money. She got to be butt naked on a zebra with a big bone in her nose and a big plate lip and a big fucked up afro. An afro, afro got to be like Angela Davis seeing and go, God damn, that's some fucked up shit. Afro got to be fucked up and one of them pics with a fist in the back and, her shit, and she got to be butt naked because if she got some clothes, she going to pocket, she going to have to put something in the pocket. So she got to be butt naked on a zebra and y'all think it's a joke, y'all gonna go, I'm gonna walk up and say, hey, how you doing? Money? And she go, I will, I will, I will. I say, Miss Murphy, Miss Murphy. And I'm bringing her home, y'all think it's a joke, y'all gonna go past a newsstand one day and see me on the cover of Jet with some woman with a big bone and a plate and a big fucked up afro, butt naked. And y'all gonna say, hey, Eddie must be visiting Africa. I'll say, Murphy marries Bush bitch. I'm gonna be like... Alright, welcome back to the show. Fantastic Freaky Funny Football Friday. Highlight the funny part, man, on this funny Friday. The great Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Great Eddie Murphy, man. I'm trying to get my spirits back up, man. Welcome back to the show. That shit was very funny, man, but once again, I'm still in this 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 uh this shitty mood right now talking about all of these things that we talking about uh, on the Doug Stewart show. Let's talk some uh some birthdays and entertainment very quickly. Hey! 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 Alright, today's date is August eighteenth. 2017, 
and make sure you go to Two Lives Two's Facebook radio chat group and cast your vote for this week's Buster the Week in sports, entertainment, and beyond. Uh, by the way, your uh, your nominees are the Orange Dude, Tim Brown, Hugh Jackson, and Jermichael Finley, Paris Denard, Charlottesville Racist Rallyers, Angry Black Man, Rough Buff, LD from the D. Those are your nominees. All right. Um, so this is like the first time ever where we don't have any celebrity birthdays, but we do have some Stewie's birthdays coming up. Celebrating his ninth birthday tomorrow, I think is, is the way he told it to me, is Junior Microwave. That's right. Little John Fisher, man, celebrates his ninth birthday. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. The guy that just called the show earlier, if you're new to the network and to the Doug Stewart Show, the guy that called earlier, his son is celebrating his ninth birthday tomorrow. One thing I'll say about John Fisher, man, that man got some straight from Africa Dern <laughs> jeans. I'm talking his daughters look so much like this ninja. He spit them out. <laughs> John Fisher got 50-11 churn. I mean, he does. And so it was last year, he brought his he brought three of his daughters out to the tailgate. Like, he had all three of them. They were all little, like, under the age of 10 or whatever, man. And two of them little girls look so much like this ninja man. It's, it's crazy. And I don't think he had his son with him. I don't remember him having his son, but I'm sure his son looked just like him too, man. Happy birthday to Little Microwave Man from the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah. So happy birthday to him. And also, man, his birthday is Saturday. But happy birthday to one of the arduous Stewie supporters uh, for the Doug Stewart Show. My man, Sandman. Happy birthday, Sandman. Yeah. What is Sandman's real name? I met Sandman before a couple times. He actually uh, has hung out with us for TDSS, uh, the annual celebration for the Doug Stewart Show. What is his real name? I don't even know his damn real name. Sandman is good. Real cool fella. Uh, so happy birthday to Sandman. Also, one quick entertainment story, man. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Um, actually, two. Let me mention one. The second to the last episode of Game of Thrones is on them streets. Um, you can actually find it on YouTube. My wife actually sent me the link of it, and I'm going to watch it later on today uh, or tonight uh, or this weekend at some point. Hopefully, I'll probably watch it before the actual episode appears on Sunday night at 9 p.m. But that's out. But also, speaking of leaked episodes, um, 50 Cent says that he he purposely leaked the latest episode of Power. Yeah, at least that, that's what he's saying. 50 Cent, who is an executive producer and actor on the show Power, has said he leaked the episodes. On the Hip Hop Stars Instagram page yesterday, he posted a picture of himself with the caption, Power. Ratings up another 10% per episode for number 408. They glad I leaked the shit now. Laugh out loud. Hashtag Savage Life Now. Watch what I can do on BET. Hashtag 50 Central B-E-T. Um, it was last week when stars came out saying that final three episodes of the Power 4 season were leaked. They also said that they would take legal action against a hacker. So how does that work? If 50 Cent, who's the executive producer of this thing and who stars on the show, if he actually did the leaking, is Power going to go after him for real? Well, not Power, I'm sorry. Stars. So is stars going to go after 50 Cent? Um, you know, we will find out. We will soon see uh, what happens with that story. Also today, man, once again, is August 18th, 2017. Today is National Fajita Day. Love me some fajitas. Um, to dash, today is National Mail Order Catalog Day, which... Uh, 
catalogs pretty much have gone the way of the dinosaur. Everything is through, you know, Amazon or ordering stuff online. Every time I turn around at my damn house, there's a box coming from damn Amazon. Uh, Amazon is about to take over the world, man. They actually built a plant, and I don't know how long it's been around, but it's off of, uh, uh, for my ATL people, you know where I'm talking about, off of Thornton Road. And they have this huge Amazon plant, man. And uh, they always hiring, man. And, and that sounds like it's one of them good jobs that you could have forever, kind of like one of those automotive industry factory type jobs that they have in Detroit. And so Amazon is really taking over the world, man. They they got their hands in a bunch of different, you know, business ventures, man, and they they doing big, big, big things. And today is also National Ice Cream Pie Day. I think I might go over to Baskin Robbins, man, and get me an ice cream uh, pie, man. Love that type of shit. Yeah. Love that type of stuff. I might go and get me an ice cream. I even like the ones, man, when we were kids, my mother used to buy as a treat, like on a special occasion, she'd buy one of those those frozen pies that they have in the in the frozen section in the grocery store. And it'd be like a chocolate pie, and it'd be like the graham cracker crust, and it'd be just chocolate filling, and then it'd be covered with this frozen like uh whipped cream on top or whatever, man. Uh, so every once in a while we'd have something like that, man. I I love that shit. My wife don't like stuff like that. Like my wife don't like nothing. Her eating habits are real, real strange. But anyway, man, today is National Ice Cream Pie Day. Go get your ice cream pie. From Grego in the chat, he says, "Like myself, fifty is a petty cancer." <laughs> now, Sidney Jackson, he is Tiffany. 50 is real petty. 50 Cent might be the king of petty. Seriously. But you know what? That worked for him. You remember when he first came out, the art of, uh, what was it, the art of storytelling or the art of uh, something where he basically dissed all of the top rappers in the industry or whatever, man? That shit worked. It worked, and I don't really think 50 is the greatest rapper, uh, but uh, when he first came out, man, and also aligning himself with Dr. Dre didn't help. I mentioned that earlier as well. But when 50 came out, man, he straight went at fools, man, and still has this this arrogance about himself where he'll just go in on fools, you know, and talk cash-ish. Uh, that is 50 Cent. He'll give you 50 Cent. He'll give you his 50 cent. His actually is 2 cent, but he's giving you 50. Um, from Angry Black Man, said he's trolling stars. He didn't leak shit. Yeah, might be. It sounds interesting, though. Yeah. It, it, it did just like what it did to me when I read the story. Like, did this ninja really do this? Nah, he wouldn't do that. He is the king of petty, though. Yeah, he is the king of petty. So, I never put anything past 50 Cent. All right, when we get back from the break, man, uh, let's let's get to that Kevin Durant thing. It's kind of taking us back to where we've been all day long, but Kevin Durant gives two flocks about what y'all think about him not going to the White House. And he not going... Fuck that ninja in the White House. You know what? I'm going to save it for when we get back. I'll save it for when we get back. Don't go away. Doug Stewart Show. Keep it going, keep working it and working it, working it and working it. 
Still stand no stop, rise high skies the limit. Keep your eyes open, never hoping, steady scoping. Looking for ways to get paid, nothing's for joking. Like to laugh for mail, get your stuff, watch your stand still.